Today we're going to talk about breaker boards and how they can be used when installing EcoDeck. A breaker board is a single board that runs adjacent to the direction of the rest of the decking boards. As the name suggests, breaker boards break up the decking runs into sections and connect one section of decking with another. Breaker boards also provide you with an alternative to using traditional butt joins. EcoDeck can expand and contract in its length with changes in temperature, but this is not the case in its width. So by using a breaker board, you can effectively reduce the gap that would be typical when using butt joins. You should definitely use breaker boards if the deck you're building is larger than 5.4 metres in length. And you can enhance the design of your deck further by using breaker boards to tie in with a design feature or complement a design element of your home. When installing decking using breaker boards, a bit more planning and joist work is needed. First, work out exactly where the breaker boards will be positioned. The substructure will need to be built to support the breaker boards. Secondly, to create the space for the breaker boards, closely align two joists with noggins as shown. With the breaker board placed down first, the adjacent decking boards can then be installed with spaces. Allow a little extra length when laying the boards, then screw them down. A single cut can then be made to ensure a clean, straight edge. Continue the same process along the deck. There you have it, a simple installation technique that's a great alternative to butt joins, effectively reducing the expansion gap while taking advantage of the long, clean lengths of EcoDeck to enhance the design and feel of your home.